If you got a big head and are looking for one pair of glasses that's super versatile, that can be worn in a lot of different situations, sports included, you found the right video. Hey everybody, this is Sunglass Rob from SportRx and today we are reviewing the best athleisure sunglasses for big heads. What are athleisure sunglasses? I hope you know what a big head is if you're watching this. You probably have a big head like me. Seven and five eighths hat, you know, kind of big guy, 67 PD. For you RX wearers, you know what that means. But what does athleisure mean? What we're trying to say with athleisure is one frame that's gonna work really well. For example, if you're a cyclist on the bike, but also look really good off the bike. So not something that's super sporty looking, but does work well when you are doing sports and something that is very kind of casual, you know, that whole athleisure, Lululemon, hanging out kind of vibe, COVID sent it to us all. So uh, if you're looking for one pair that's gonna work really well for those conditions, that's what these five frames have. And that means they're gonna be very kind of innovative, lightweight frame materials. They're gonna be stylish, of course. They're gonna have enough coverage and sun protection that they're gonna be very functional and also like enough rubber grip and sport DNA within the frame so that they actually work really well if you're sweating. So basically one pair that fits guys with big heads that works really well when you're not sweating and really well when you are sweating. By the way, if you end up getting a pair from us, one of these five with the bonus one six, or something else we have this amazing see better guarantee you're never stuck with anything from sport rx we want you to love everything you get from us and if you end up not loving a pair you will work with you uh, they're exchangeable refundable we'll send you a return label so you don't have to pay for shipping basically if you don't see better you don't have to have them all right we're going to start things off very well with the maui gym red sands this is one of my personal favorite pair of sunglasses I'm kind of embarrassed to tell you how many of these I actually own myself. Uh, my pair are off camera. That's what I wore in today. Um, but the Maui Gym Red Sands is unbelievably lightweight and comfortable. The real story with these is the material they use. It's a nylon. I like to call it a, a nano nylon because it's so thin, so light, and they're just unbelievably comfortable glasses. You can just wear them all the time. Um, you almost forget that they're on and they are big enough for guys with big heads and they have a little bit of a stretch. As far as fit goes, the SFW is 138. That's a men's large to extra large, women's large to extra large as well. This is a nice big pair of glasses, except for the biggest heads in the world. I think this would be a uh, very, very good fit. It's a six base with, I believe almost all of these are six base, which means they don't have a full wrap. They kind of have an almost full wrap. Still gives you a lot of coverage, kind of this rectangular design. Another really cool thing about these are the adjustable nose pads that do have rubber on them. And also on the uh, temples, there's a little bit right there. It's got a traditional pin hinge. I would say this pair is awesome for everything except for real true hardcore sports. I don't think the Red Sands is amazing for like real serious mountain biking, for example, but I go hiking in these all the time. I take my kids to the park. I think a light jog is gonna work on these, but if you're like training for like a 10K or something, this might not be that athletically of the athleisure pair, but if you're looking for one pair that's gonna work in so many conditions. And I also do think compared to a lot of these, the Red Sands dresses up really well. It comes in a matte black frame also. So if you want something that's gonna be kind of steered more to the dressier than then a little less on the sportier, uh, this one is amazing. Comes with uh, Maui Gym polarized plus two lens technology with prescription or without, which is just a fantastic high contrast, polarized, everything you would ever want in a pair of lenses world. All right. I talked a lot about the Red Sands because I love them. All right, next on the table is the Canon Burnett XL. Actually, another pair that I personally own. I have a lot of sunglasses. I've been working here a very long time. This pair is gonna be uh, basically Canon's most popular family. It's the Burnett family, and these come in three sizes. So if you don't need quite the biggest, which maybe you wouldn't be watching this video because this is for big headed guys like us, by the way, I just tell people it's a big case for a big brain. This pair is going to be a little bit more sporty looking than some of the others because it has a little bit more curvature to it, a little bit more wrap to it, but not so much that it's over sporty looking. They have some uh, really good rubber right on the nose. They don't have rubber on the temple and it also does have a metal hinge. So pros and cons of this five barrel stainless steel 
hinge. It's really durable. It's really tough. It's really hard to break, but there's a lot of metal right there. So like, again, I say I use mountain biking a lot as an example because I'm a really avid mountain biker. Not something I'd want to do super hardcore sports in because if you crash, you don't really want any metal there. That could be a little bit dangerous. So um, definitely can hike in these. You can do light activities in these. You can do some sport E stuff in them but not a hardcore sports pair very aesthetically pleasing very comfortable lightweight it's a great pair of glasses and you can also get them with the uh, Canon SR91 lenses which is a really amazing polarized lens technology uh, and you can get them even in prescription with that SR91 so check out that Burnett XL from Canon or Canon depending on how you feel that day All right, next on the table is the Costa or Costa Sparrow XL, a pair that I actually don't own. And these are a little bit newer. I don't know so much about these. So let's learn together. Ooh, spring hinges. This is kind of cool for the big, big headed guys. A lot of times I'm not a fan of spring hinges because like if you start really moving your head around, the spring kind of opens up and lets them slide off. But this is an integrated spring hinge and it's got some good tension to it. I'm not worried about these falling off at all. Something that also helps with them not falling off is all this rubber. You got the hydrolyte all around the temple and you got some right here on the nose bridge as well. This color is even cool. This green is kind of rad. I think I love these glasses. I, I don't know. Should I keep talking about it? Okay, I'll tell you some more. Uh, they come with 580 lenses. That's Costa's lens technology. It's really, really good. 580 lenses. Um, really help with contrast. They're all polarized. All coasters are going to be polarized and you can get them in prescription with authentic 580 lenses as well. A uh, cool feature on here is these little hooks right here. The metal keeper slots is what it's called. So basically you can get a specific leash that Costa sells that hooks right in here. So it's not like plugging on the end that can come off or something. It goes right in here. And this is also a bio resin nylon, which is resilient, flexible and lightweight. I feel like this is a great pair for kind of serious performance within the details, but also really cool casual pair of glasses fit wise on here this is a big boy this is 142 on that sfw which is extra large okay this is the preventative portion of this video rob what glasses are you wearing those glasses are rad i have a big head too that's why i'm watching this video what are you wearing that always gets in the comments so let's just preemptively strike right now these are one of my favorite pair of eyeglasses this is from maui gym this is the mjo 2211 so 2211 2211 is the model number uh, really comfortable spring hinges i love this clear gray frame and i have authentic maui gym lenses in here it's their blue blocking lens but it doesn't have any yellow or weird iridescent anything the lens technology on this is ridiculous okay let's get back to why you wanted to watch this video Uh, next on the table is the award-winning Oakley Mainlink XL. So the Mainlink came out first and they were rad and we loved them and we sold a bunch of them. And everybody was like, hey, Oakley, make them bigger. And Oakley said, okay, we will. So this is the XL version of the Mainlink. This is one of the most versatile frames really on the market from any brand. A lot of sport DNA, but also not full A base, so a little bit flatter, a um, little bit more casual looking, but basically probably from most of the ones on the table, this one is going to be the most sporty um, versus uh, style on the table. So I still think they look great. They're probably not for me dressy enough if I was really kind of wearing um, a suit or something like that, maybe okay with a button down shirt but very casual, very sporty. But as far as like actively running in them, hiking in them, mountain biking in them, fishing in them, whatever you want to do, this is as hardcore as it gets, road biking, anything. So they have grip everywhere, unobtainium everywhere, Oakley's three-point fit system, which means they don't hook down behind your ears. They actually go straight back and kind of, it's always weird for me to say, gently grab your head, but they just stay in place really well. I feel like it works really well with hats for me personally and helmets. Um, so just super lightweight, O-matter frame material, super durable, great pair of glasses. Like I said, 
you can do real serious hardcore sports. If you're training for a marathon, Mainlink is gonna work great for you. If you just wanna hang out at the beach, Mainlink's gonna work great for you. So really, some, nothing this frame can't do. Like I said, it's not the super dressiest one. So if you're not like a suit and tie kind of person, this is probably the one for you. Fit wise, it's another big, big one. It's a unisex XL SFW of 142. Of course, you can get them in prescription or Sport RX. You can get them RX. Um, but the cool thing is you can get them with authentic Prism lenses in prescription as well. And Prism is Oakley's uh, lens technology that really enhances contrast, really enhances colors. It's like this new wave lens technology that's amazing. We've got tons of video on Prism if you want to learn more about that. This is the main link XL. You would never believe it in a million years, but I own the next pair of glasses as well. This is the Smith Lowdown XL. It's the Smith Lowdown XL2. There used to be a lowdown. There's a new lowdown. There's no one anymore. So I don't know if you have to call it the two, but it's the Smith Lowdown XL2. So um, great pair of glasses. And these are another really, really big one. It's an SFW of 142, but because these are so tall, I feel like if you got a really big head, these are almost, I think, might even be too big for me, which is rare. I have a pretty big head, but uh, very on trend, tall B, aesthetically pleasing pair of glasses. Um, they got Megal nose pads, so uh, that's the material that Smith uses. Very sticky, good rubber. No rubber on the temples, though. So if you're the heaviest sweater, um, maybe this pair won't be good for you. But besides that, really, really good sport features. Really, really lightweight. Uh, eco-friendly TR90 uh, material, very durable, very lightweight, and also resistant to extreme temperature. Smith is really well known in the snow world, so of course these have to work really well um, in cold and hot conditions. In non-prescription world, you want to get them with Chromapop. Chromapop is rad. In prescription right now, Chromapop is not available, but you can definitely get some really cool uh, Sport RX customized lenses. This also has an auto lock hinge, so it kind of like stays open and, and kind of stays closed. You can kind of feel it when you open and close them. I mean, you can't feel it. I'm feeling it. You're at home watching YouTube. Um, anyways, this is the Smith Lowdown XL2 from Smith's uh, Lifestyle Evolve collection, but I think you can definitely sweat in these. They will stay in place. Oh, uh, pro tip. If you get them in a matte color, they stay in place better. Shiny frames sometimes get a little bit more slippery. So if you get something that you really love, they don't have enough rubber on them, or like this one doesn't have rubber on the temples, only on the nose. Uh, pro tip is get them in a matte color and it's going to stay on a lot better than a shiny color. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, we got a bonus frame for you. This is the Sport RX Hudson. Yes, our own design, our own frame. This building helped design is actually, I got to work with the designers and be on that team. Um, so this is our own uh, Huxin. These are really, really athleisure-y. So we tried to make something that was gonna work really well for sweating in, but also look really good. It's kind of not fair on me because everything looks so good. Uh, that was probably overboard. Anyways, uh, have rubber right on the nose, right on the temple, and it's kind of hidden so you don't see it from the outside. They come in this matte gray color. They come in a matte black color. They got cam lock hinges, um, eco-friendly bioresin material, lightweight, durable, flexible. Uh, basically, we use kind of all the knowledge in the building, all the years of experience we have working with all the other brands to try and figure out um, our own take on having a six base uh, really accommodating for prescriptions uh, frame. So the first one we came out with was the Huxin. This has got an SFW of 136. I'd say it's kind of on the line of large and extra large. Um, they fit me. I do wear them. I have a pretty big head. Usually I like a little bit bigger of an SFW, but they still definitely work for big heads. They are going to feel maybe a little bit snugger around the ears on the temples. Some people love that because when they're sweating and doing really extreme sports, they really want them to stay on. I do some pretty extreme serious mountain biking with these and never move, um, but some people don't like kind of feeling much at all. So that's for you to decide, but that's the Sport RX Huxin as your bonus frame.
All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want more information about this, we're gonna have some blogs linked below. We got tons of videos explaining all sorts of different things. I think we actually have a video on almost every single one of these glasses if you just want its own in-depth review as well. Uh, don't forget, we have really friendly, really knowledgeable sport opticians here that will pick up the phone, that will live chat with you, that you can email with. If you have any questions, if you're not exactly sure what's gonna be the best frame for you, reach out to us, even put it down in the comments section. We love talking with people and we love helping you see better while doing what you love. It's what we do here at Sport RX. Well, thanks again for watching. If you want to check out some of those videos, they're right over there. And down below is all the links to the different social media channels. And I think that you should join all of them, all of it. Follow us.